Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am no I am none other than Deb Chanel. Okay, we're gonna get right on into the Jasmine brand. Yes, the Jasmine brand brought out some news on Portia Williams, honey. She titled her article, Portia Williams Responds to New Allegations of Dennis McKinley Cheating Again. I don't know. Let me figure out my life. <laughs> I said, boy, the stuff just never stops coming on top of Portia Williams' head when she's dealing with this man and him being the lover of all womankind, okay? All of womankind. So, let's get on into the article. It was written by um, Mia Ta, um, M Matia Shane, okay? And um, she's a journalist or a correspondent over there. Uh, writing for the Jasmine brand. All right, she goes on to title her article again, Portia Williams Responds to New Allegations of Dennis McKinley Cheating Once Again. Okay, I don't know what is her response. Let me figure out my life. Okay, um, it goes on to read, it, it appears that Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams' relationship with her fiancé, Dennis McKinley, may be on the rocks. You don't say. Come on, family. Let's get on into it. Come on in the house. Let's divulge. Let's interact with one another to see exactly what is going on so I can put my spin on it. You can tell me what your spin, and then we'll just have to interact and communicate with each other through the platform of the chat. Okay, because you know we always want to know. We always want to talk about what's trending out there on social media and how we feel about it. Okay, not saying what we feel uh, is the gospel truth or is to be held as a higher standard. No, we're just getting it off uh, the social media trending websites and we're just having a conversation about them over here at Deb Chanel's 48's World. Okay. Uh, going back to the article, it says, Reports recently leaked of the hot dog factory owner being seen out to dinner with a bevy of women in the wee hours of the morning one weekend. A witness told Radar Online what she saw. Okay, this is her commentary, meaning the lady who's putting out the information on Dennis McKinley of these four women that escorted him at some diner. I think it was called Majestic or Majesty um, Diner. Somewhere here in um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not familiar with that particular restaurant. So I'm thinking it might be downtown somewhere. Okay. In between all the clusters of restaurants and bars and stuff like that for the city uh, night lights people. Okay. But anyway, she goes on to say he came in with four women. Four beautiful women. Portia was not with him. Dennis was the only man in the group and all of the women were flirting with him. Okay. The girl in black had her hand on his shoulders and it was like he was on a date with all of them. They left in a black Escalade. There were there was a driver. Dennis wasn't driving. So that means he was in the back with all they behinds. Okay. Doing unknownly uh, godly things. Okay. But it is what it is. And it was definitely going to get back to social media for Portia to try to defend or not defend. Okay, that's my sidebar, not in this article. Uh, going back to the journalist who put out this article, she's saying, Yikes! Last night, January 19, 2020, Portia sat down with Andy Cohen and castmate Tanya Sams on Watch What Happens Live, reacting to the rumor. Frustrated. She claims she doesn't know what happened that night. Yes, Portia Williams was on real uh, Watch What Happens Live after their show that she's uh, the co-star on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Andy Cohen had a little meet and greet talk interview session about what was going on uh, with Portia and uh, Tanya Sands following the show and trying to get like their spin or their take on what they felt about the ending of that particular episode. And, of course, you know, Andy has his little commenters call in or they write in and he have one of those little cue cards, questions for his panel of guests that he's airing on that particular episode on his show. So, one commenter uh, basically had asked um, Portia how she felt about Dennis cheating on her again. 
And you could tell all on Portia's face, she was like, see, that's why I didn't want to come on this old raggedy show because they're going to ask me things that I don't really too much want to be bothered with and definitely don't have all the answers because I'm still working on my relationship with Dennis. So, hell, I don't want to answer it. But she goes on and talking about she's working it all out. That's what her response back to the uh, person who asked that particular question. Um, but she also responds, I don't know. The blogs, you know. He was out. I don't know. Uh, can y'all just continue to comment and speculate and let me just figure out my life? I'm figuring out my life was her response back to that commenter. Then it goes on to say, when asked about the current status of their engagement, Pilar Jenna's mom stammered, stam stammered over this answer. You know, we're working on our relationship. I mean, uh, however, when Andy asked if Portia trusted Dennis, she said, hmm... I think you ask that every time I come here. Yes, Portia, because we're still trying to figure out why you're still messing with Dennis. Okay, that's all. You know, he's showing us who he is, and you're not really acting like you understand what he's showing you out in your real life. And when he's out there in real life, interacting and mingling with other women who happen to be single. Okay, that's what we're saying. That's why I ain't constantly keep you in the hot seat saying, what are you doing with this man still? Okay. But anyway, uh, she goes on to say, I think every relationship is a work in progress. We have a daughter together and just pray for us. Okay, you know, you pray for yourself and just add us to that list. Um, just say, well, just add us to there. Yes, babe. Like, uh, that was a deflection type of response, Portia, because just because you have a baby with someone, don't make you family, okay? Right now, you are a baby mama. You are not a wife. You're not necessarily a fiancé, uh, because technically you are, but technically not. You're like a fiancé slash baby mama, okay? And until you sign that prenup, that's all and what you ever going to be to this man. But again, you're setting yourself up for the big okey-doke. And in closing of this particular article, the uh, journalist or correspondent is asking us, will Portia and Dennis make it down the aisle? Okay. <laughs> Child, I don't even know. She will make it to another day with this brother. That's just my pun intended. He, in my eyes, is not to be trusted, not to be given a second thought. Because, honey, you can definitely raise that baby by yourself, and you got good, good family support that will uh, help you as well on raising that little pretty PJ. Okay? And let... What's his name? Dennis, go and do whatever he feel he needs to do to survive out in this world. Because, Portia, you're like one of a dozen to him. Okay? You got the looks. You got the body. You got a job. That seems like his... Uh, and you spread your legs to him whenever he want to get it in. And those are the only requirements that it seems like he asks of any of his women. Because, from my understanding... He has a lot of women written down on his back, okay, for you to parlay of it. And he even messed with a woman by the name of Pillar that you end up naming your child that. To me, I just lost all respect for you when you did that. I mean, out of all the names in this world that you could have named her, unless that was just a name you knew from way back when, before you even met Dennis, this is the name you want to name your child. Then that's something different, okay? But you didn't even have a name planned out. And for you to take ownership of somebody that he slept with and embodied her name on his body, that just says a lot about you and your train of thinking, okay? That's all I'm saying, honey. That's why I guess they call it poor girl PJ because they don't want to say Pillar because they know he done slept with a lady named Pillar and you sit up there and name your child Pillar. I'm like, oh, child, Portia, Portia, Portia. Maybe y'all deserve each other because y'all don't seem like y'all on an even keel anyway. And it works for you all. But Portia, we... Me and other people that think like me, you know, if it don't work out, we don't want to see you cry no more. We don't want to see you 
totally make yourself disabled uh, over this situation with Dennis because you done been through it with him. You done been through the hard infidelity, lying shamelessly syndrome with him on a daily basis. So whatever you thinking about, it's just making you look bad. It ain't making him look bad because they always say they give the men passes. They can sleep, cheat, lie, whatever. Someone gonna still want them even if you don't want them anymore. So you gotta think about yourself and your baby or the baby that y'all had together. You can't be thinking, well, we're a family. We don't because you just don't want to be a statistic like your mom. I get it, got it good. But in hindsight, did you really prepare yourself to be involved with this type of man? Or were you just thinking about the fun times y'all can have, the money uh, that he has and how he's established his business uh, there out? You know, I, I'm not understanding. I'm not going to even try to really understand it. I just wanted to break this story. I wanted to come in, talk to my family about it, see what they want to talk about it, if they want to talk about it, and just see, is my perspective... Uh, flawed in some ways, you know, because I like to get checked sometimes when you can provide true logical reasoning and you can back up what you're saying to defute whatever I said, then yes, I like it because sometimes, you know, I think a certain way. I try to be well-rounded, not be so biased, but if you're giving me what you're giving me, I can't help but come to that conclusion, okay? Because you're on TV, this is your reality, as you say, is not scripted. you coming straight and shooting from the hill. So I just have to go on what you're showing me. Is it something that I can take? Is it something that society should take from you? You know, that's how I view things. But it just is what it is. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know. Sound off, honey. Tell me what you think about this situation. That Porsche seems like she's giving Dennis another pass. Or do you see it another way? Okay? And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so to my channel. What you're waiting on, okay? You keep coming. You keep uh, looking through them bushes here and there. You keep looking at my content. You know, you must like it for some a uh, reason or not just go on and hit that subscribe button i really would appreciate it okay and share and like my videos in the same damn time okay but i like you i like you i love you i love you y'all go on about y'all day and i will come back ring that notification bell so you know to come on over to deb chanel's house and let's get in this talk okay because sometimes it just be piping hot stuff that i need to get to y'all and i need y'all to be inattentive with me with letting me talk about this situation but as you can know, sometimes you have to get me at your leisure. You know, I know everybody ain't on point waiting for Dale to drop a video. But I know when you ain't doing nothing and you feel like, damn, what can I do? I want to read no book. I want to go out there and spend no money. But damn, let me check on see what Dale doing over there. Dale, she ain't got 40 where What she talking about? Let me get on into the scene with her, okay? But that's what I like. Get me when you can. That's cool. That's got it. I, you know, I'm cool and fine with that. But, you know, you know you ain't got nothing to do. You need to be clicking on every time I drop a video, okay? Because it'd be excitement in my voice sometimes. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see y'all next video, okay? Bye-bye.